I am thrilled. I thought this was just a box that I had sitting around as a set piece. It felt very light, so I figured the whiskey's gone. I don't have any of this Ardbeg, but there's actually a little bit in here and I wanna finish it, but I'm gonna do a review for you first. So let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. I'm Kevin, and I thought that I had gone through this bottle of whiskey a long time ago. Now this is a special whiskey that you probably can't find. You might have to go to an auction or someplace else to find this particular bottle. Uh, but I picked it up when my wife and I were in Isla doing whiskey tours, and Ardbeg had several whiskeys that were available for sale at their distillery, and a lot of them were okay priced. You know, they were kind of the same price as home, uh, but this is the Kildalton. Now the Kildalton is a special project that they did and it is limited. So I figured, well, if I'm going to get anything at a distillery, it really should be something that I can't get at home. So your typical Ardbeg bottle shape, but in a really nice box. And I said, well, sure, let's get the whiskey. Actually, Judy said, Get a whiskey here while we're at the distillery. You love Ardbeg. Okay, I'll get the Kildalton. All right, it's 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 a special one. And so this has been sitting over here as a, as a decoration. Now it's really gonna be decoration because we're gonna finish this tonight. Uh, maybe not all of it in the review, but uh, it's going it's going to go. So when I saw this, I, I kind of remember that the uh, that this was a special purchase because I don't usually buy boxes for kind of local U.S. purchases. That's only when I'm traveling or, or something that I see is, is pretty grand out there and worth a little extra money for a box with a, with a bottle. But then I noticed that this one also has all the UK markings on it. And it is a um, 700 milliliter bottle, 70 CL on the bottle, 700 milliliters instead of 750. And that's always an indication that, yep, this is a UK purchase. I get cheated out of 50 milliliters. That's a fine dram. In fact, according to the bottle here, it says that 25 milliliters is equal to 1.2 UK units. So I'm missing like almost two and a half UK units out of this bottle, which is why I typically don't buy bottles when I'm over in Europe unless I can't get them here. Because if I get them in the US, they typically, are, they typically, typically don't, they are typically bottled at 750. And I like the extra 50 milliliters. Why should I pay the same or more for less whiskey? So, uh, as I said, we picked this bottle up uh, in 2018 when we were doing our tour, and I believe the actual Kill Dalton bottling was in 2014. So it was already a few years old by the time I got around to it. There was no way I was going to find it locally, and uh, it's a good thing that they still had some there at the distillery. It's a great distillery tour. Ardbeg has a lot of expressions, and this bottle stuck out because it's ex-bourbon and ex-sherry casking, and I like that. Uh, the Ugidal is similar caskings to this, and I wanted to try another one of their sherry-finished whiskeys. So let me go ahead and pour this bad boy, see how much we have in here. When I first got this bottle, it was a beautiful color. I mean, this whiskey had some depth to it and darkness. And we are running really low. We'll just leave it there. Uh, normally, whiskey doesn't go bad in the bottle unless there's very little left in there. And there certainly is not much left in this bottle. So that may have affected a little bit, not too much. Right away on the nose, it's Art Bay. You get that briny, um, what I like to describe as a campfire on a beach. Salt air, the, the smoke, and the a little bit of sweetness, but you, you get punched with that smoke. Now this is only 46% ABV, and I believe uh, Ugidal and some of their other expressions are higher. They're more in the 50 to 60 range. So this is going to be a little more gentle because of its uh, ABV, because it's 92 proof. But it's still going to pack a little bit of a kick because it's Ardbeg. And it's, to me, a very unique smoke and peat. Uh, people who have tried something like Elfroig will say it has this iodine and this um, 
the smoke and uh, and this this uh, medicinal note to it. I don't really get that. I get a little pepper on the nose. It's it's got fruitiness to it, but they're very subtle because I think the smoke comes through first. Maybe some baking notes in there, baking spices of some sort. Wow, it's been a long time since I've had this Kildalton. Ah. Oh. That is really nice. So it's a very oily whiskey to me. There's um, pine trees coming through now. Mm, and I went down a little bit too deep on that one. Whew, I burned my sinuses. There's peppermint. There's um, roasted notes in there. Maybe some almonds or maybe a little bit of uh, like coffee flavors. But it, it, just, it just coats your tongue. You can... After you've had that sip, you can still taste the oiliness. That smoke and that peat are really powerful. I don't get as much of the sherry finish as I do with Anuki Dal. In fact, the finish is long and leaves me like um, a mint aftertaste. Like I've had a, a little uh, whiff of mint after a dinner. I don't know what that accent was. There's even a little vanilla at the finish of this. I have a picture of uh, the various whiskeys on the shelves at the distillery. And I noticed that that said 120 pounds was the price for this bottle. And I think at the time, uh, the pound was still pretty good. So I don't know, I probably paid somewhere upwards of um, maybe 150, $160, even a little bit more maybe with exchange. So this probably was overpriced, but it was unique. It was rare. It's a collector's item. And I'm happy to, once in a while, pay a little extra for a cool whiskey. If you do find one of these and you do find it reasonably priced, go ahead and pick it up. I think it's pretty cool that you get the committee releases, the one-time releases from Ard Bag because they come and then they go. You don't see them again and you could say, I had that one. If you like smoke, if you like peat, and you haven't tried any art bags yet, you need to try an art Someone bag. online was telling me that they've really got into Laphroaig heavy, and I, that's where I started with my Isla whiskeys. And I told them, I said, if you like Laphroaig, please give art bag a try too. It's a different smoke. It's, it's more briny, it's more campfirey, but it has more of a sweetness to it, I think, than Laphroaig. I really feel like I'm on a and Isla Beach. Isla Beaches are not um, sandy, lovely, uh, put out an umbrella type things. They're more like rocks and, and there might be a little bit of sand, but let's put it this way. If you live on Isla or you work on Isla, you're a tougher person than me. Man, I was there during the nicest days and I was freezing. Oh my God, it was cold. That wind coming off that water. Tough people that make these whiskeys. I am so thrilled that they are braving the climate and the weather there uh, to bring us exciting expressions like this. So in summary, this is a really good whiskey. If you can't get the Kildalton, there are plenty of Ardbeg whiskeys to choose from. If you want to go for a sherry finish, my favorite is Oogie Dal. Grab one of those. It's more of a cast strength whiskey anyway. This one, um, let me know if you've ever had it. I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Uh, or if you get a good line on one, you know, someplace that's still selling Kildaltons. I might be interested again. This is this has really been an enjoyable flashback. I think it's been at least two years since I drank this. You know, whiskey does no good sitting in a bottle, uh, pretending it's going to be something special someday when you're down to that last little dram. You know what? Let's see what we got in here. See, now when you're down to the last few ounces of whiskey, the last 50 milliliters or so, it's just a waste leaving in the bottle. I, I can't even put up with that. This is the way you do whiskey. If you're enjoying these videos, please give me a like. Go ahead and subscribe. We're still building this community and you've been doing a great job. It's been growing a lot lately and I, and I so appreciate that. These whiskeys are fun for me to review. I especially like when I have a nice surprise like this, a whiskey I didn't think I had and Suddenly it's there and there's not much of it, but I hope that these tastings are being shared, that you are 
pouring a dram while I am. Uh, as much whiskey as you can drink while I'm talking makes me sound so much more intelligent. And I appreciate every dram you down. So, until the next video, cheers.